What's up guys, so Caleb Plant beat Anthony Durrell by a ninth round knockout and what was a you know, a really good knockout and really good fight or entertaining fight as well that took place over the weekend on the co main event of the Wilder vs. Hellenius card. Uh this was a you know, a fight that I was looking forward to. I mean there was a lot of you know, talking in the build up, a lot of bad blood, so it was a fight that I was paying attention to and you know, I'm a fan of Caleb Plant. I think, you know, he's a pretty underrated uh, fighter in the sport. I think he's a lot better than a lot of people think. And he's a lot better than Anthony Durrell obviously thought as well. Um, Anthony Durrell completely was underestimating Caleb Plant in the build-up. Talking about, you know, Caleb Plant can't hit, you know, who is he fought? He only fought bums or whatever. Uh, you know, he was really hating on Caleb Plant in the build-up. Um, but... You know, I think he has a lot more respect for Plant now after the fight. You know, Caleb Plant showed in this fight, you know, that he was a much more skilled uh, fighter of the two. Uh, he was winning most of the rounds as I expected, using his, you know, his boxing skills, his head movement, counter punching, using his good left hand as well, jabbing both to the head and body. Like I say, he was winning most of the rounds. I wasn't scoring the fight because I figured, you know, the only way Doral could win was probably going to be by a you know, a knockout or something, which he was trying to do the whole fight, you know, so I'll give uh, Darrell his credit, I mean, he made the fight, he was aggressive, he didn't have that many moments of success, but he had a few, and in those few, when he landed a good shot, he'd try and follow it up and put his combinations together and get aggressive, he was also, you know, you could see by the way he was fighting, you know, he was always in there with bad intentions, he was making it really rough on the inside, using a lot of elbows, uh, calling the causing each other to fall over, um, but yeah, Plant stayed calm. Whereas Darrell was kind of fighting emotionally, and he wasn't really respecting what was coming back from Plant. Even when he got wobbled earlier in the fight, he kind of he laughed and shook his head like you know that uh, he didn't he still didn't really believe in Caleb Plant's power. Um, but it, like I say, Caleb Plant ended the fight with a vicious, uh, beautiful knockout. Um, where he started off with a left hook to the body and then finished it with a left hook up top. And we'd seen him, I mean, he uses this combination quite often, actually. It's one of his favorite or go-to combinations. I think he put uh, Jose Uskataki down with a left hook a couple times in their fight. So he has a really good left hook as well. Like I say, he's got, you know, a really good left hand. I think his jab and his left hook are his two best punches. I think his right hand, actually, I don't think it has that much pop on it. I think his left hook is... You know, he's kind of his power shot, so... Um, and obviously got a very good jab. And like I said, Plant, he boxed well in this fight. He stuck to the game plan. I mean, in a fight where you could have lost your cool, I mean, they were both taunting each other and talking to each other. But he boxed, boxed well, stuck to the game plan, stuck behind a jab. Um, you know, showed that he has good defense, as always. Won most of the rounds and topped it off with, a, like I say, a really good knockout, so... I thought it was a really good entertaining fight. Anthony Durrell, he, he, he came to fight. Like, he fought hard, especially when you consider he's already... He's getting up close to 40 years old. So, he he, he did his thing too, but, um, you know, it wasn't enough. And Caleb Plant, you know, just overall was the better fighter on the night, you know. Better boxing skills. Um, and uh, much uh, also a better boxing IQ than um, Anthony Durrell. But it was a good entertaining fight. And hopefully um, we see Caleb Plant in the in his next fight either against uh, Jamal Charlo or um, David Benavides. I think those are the the two fights that make the most sense, and that the only two fights that the fans are really genuinely interested in seeing Caleb Plant in next would be those two. And that's also like he's saying he wants to get back at Canelo. He wants he wants the rematch with Canelo. Or if you want the rematch with Canelo, you you beat one or two of these guys and you're the guy in line then because they're the other guys that the fans want to see fight Canelo so if you can beat them you'll get your rematch so that's the approach Caleb Plant's going to take for his next two fights is fighting either Charlo or Benavides uh, hopefully uh, that's his approach and um, uh, it'll also be interesting to see what Anthony Durrell does if he calls it a day on boxing he's up there in age um, or if he keeps fighting I mean he looked he still looked like he had fight left in him um, before he got you know, and put to sleep, but, uh, you know, it was an entertaining fight, so I, I'd like, I'd be interested in seeing Darrell fight somebody in the, in the division again, but yeah, guys, uh, that's my thoughts on the fight, I thought it was a good fight, let me know what your, your guys' opinions were on the fight, um,
Thanks for listening. Talk to you guys again soon. Cheers.